so following Camp Group Piper's victory in our last game, uh, we now have another game coming up between the Americans and the Germans, this time a smaller 750-point force uh, to represent small reconnaissance forces. So here's the United States. We've got a veteran uh, second lieutenant. Uh, then we've got three engineer squads. Blue squad here at the front uh, has two SMGs, two BARs, the rest rifles. Green squad, two BARs, two SMGs, one flamethrower, the rest rifles. And red squad, two SMGs, one BAR, and the rest rifles. Veteran sniper team, a veteran chaplain with a pistol. Uh, he can only use the pistol for self-defense. He cannot uh, attack with it. Uh, behind him, we then have a three-quarter ton Jeep. And next to that we have the 57mm M1 anti-tank gun. And behind that we have the armoured Jeep and a regular Jeep. So, for the German force we have, starting out the front, our veteran... Uh, wait, no, did I, no, I took him regular. Regular um, second lieutenant and his mate. Um, motorcycle with the machine gun sidecar returning again. Back here... Our Golden Boys, the Assault Rifle Squad, the uh, Veteran Assault Rifle Squad, or Fanatic. Over here we have our Medium Mortar with a spotter nail painted, thanks to my man Ash. Um, over here, our Sniper Team, Veteran, of course. Here we have our, <clears throat> our other Late War Waffen SS Team. Uh, the key feature being all mate with the LMG. Um, yep, all, all Fanatic. And now over here, our SS Panzer Pioneer Squad, um, featuring our flamethrower, learning from last game's mistake of just taking a flamethrower team. Instead, I'm giving him a whole squad. Uh, they, thankfully, um, are already fanatic for no extra cost. They uh, have four SMGs as well. Uh, this one over here has one SMG. Cool. And here is the battlefield. Uh, we have a massive highway running straight down the middle. The objective, uh, following on from last game, is that Piper's Kampfgruppe uh, is now advancing along this highway towards Antwerp. And the Americans wish to set up some ambushes along it. The Germans wish to clear it. And so two small reconnaissance forces have been sent to the highway. The goal for the Germans will be to make sure there are no Americans in any of the buildings at the end of the game. So there's four buildings, one here, two there in the middle, and one all the way there at the other end of the table. All right, so uh, forces have been deployed. Uh, sorry, forward deployers have been deployed and will be running first wave assault. So German sniper team set up in this forest here. Uh, German mortar spotter is set up here. And the Americans... Look, I've made a big mistake by setting my sniper up here and not realising he's got a forest right in front of him that means he can't see anything. So uh, that was a bit of a mistake. And uh, yeah, we'll get into turn one now. First dice out of the bag is American and the three-quarter truck has come onto the field towing the 57mm anti-tank gun and also with its eight transport capacity uh, it's brought on the lieutenant and the chaplain. Next dice. Next dice out of the bag, German, and they've brought on their medium mortar team who's just decided to come and sit up behind this house. Next dice. Next dice out of the bag is American, uh, and the red engineer squad has run it and taken cover in this building. They are the squad that only has one BAR. Next dice is German, and the German LMG squad have entered this building. All right, the uh, American armored jeep has come on with an advanced order, and he's now gonna open fire on the lads in the building. He's looking uh, for sevens because threes to hit, move makes it fours, outside of half range makes it five, heavy cover makes it seven. So, looking for a six and then a six again. No luck. And so the Next dice is German, and the German's officer team has just run onto the field. And the German assault rifle team has now run onto the table, staying just behind the forest as they can't enter it on a run order. Uh, the American sniper has left 
his building and come out into the forest, try to take some shots at the German officer team over there. Uh, however, he was out by one inch. Uh, the German motorbike has entered the field and is popping some shots at the American sniper team, uh, looking for threes to hit, four because of long range, five because he moved, six because of small man team, and seven for light cover. So here we go. No, no hits. Uh, the American 57mm anti-tank gun has detached from its toe and set up there. Uh, the American officer has left the Jeep with an advance order. The German sniper team have gone into ambush, giving themselves a nice view over the table. And the next dice is now German. Coming on up the back is the German flamethrower squad. Uh, yep, last German dice I believe. Yeah, that was it. So that's all of the Germans on the field, which means the last four dice are American. Let's see what we do. Okay, so the four American dice have come on, and uh, our first one's starting over here where we've advanced this engineer squad on, and we're now going to try and take some shots with the BAR into that squad. So the American BARs have range 30, uh, and the pair of them are in range. No other weapons from the squad are. So that'll be four shots from BARs. So the Americans are looking for threes to hit. They're outside a half range, so that makes it fours. Uh, the BAR doesn't suffer movement penalty, so still four, but half the German squad is behind cover. Uh, when you have a look at where the Americans are shooting from, they're kind of behind that bunker there. So it'll be fives to hit. And that's some pretty darn good shooting with three hits. Uh, fives to kill. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, with one chance for an exceptional. No exceptionals. So one German dies from that squad. And they take a pin. On the other side of the table, uh, the Jeep arrived and just kind of chilled there. The chaplain got out and he's chilling there. Uh, and then the last American infantry squad showed up with two BARs, again taking shots at the squad in the building. And they have a connection. So, uh, looking for threes to hit fours because we're outside a half range. Americans don't suffer movement penalty on the BAR. Uh, heavy cover makes it sixes. Looking for sixes, here we go. That is cocked almost certainly. It is, as is that one. One hit. Uh, five, six to kill because they're in a building. No kills, but they do take a pin. And with that pin being placed, concludes turn one. Dice will be going back in the bag now. Uh, the German sniper is still on ambush. Will he be staying on ambush? He most certainly will. Excellent. Turn two is beginning with the Americans getting the first dice, and the sniper is going to take a shot at the German officer team. Uh, they were just out of range last turn. They've still got line of sight. Uh, and so he's looking for a three to hit this time using his scope. And he missed. Hmm. Well, he set up in the wrong spot and now he's missed his first shot with his scope. Things aren't going well for him. All right, so the American engineers have uh, decided to advance into the beep. However, the Germans have activated their ambush and they have that nice line of sight right there. Are they in range? 36 inch. Certainly. Certainly. All right, looking for a three to hit. Miss. Two, a miss. So the Americans are now inside of the transport. And we'll just put their models off to the side. Next dice. All right, next dice out was American. The armored Jeep has jumped up here on the road and is now gonna take some shots at the German sniper team. He's in half range. Um, so looking for threes to hit, fours because he moved. Fives because a small man team, sixes because a light cover. Um, does he have like a shooting arc or is it correct? Ah, 360. 360? Yep. Yeah. Nice. No. One hit. Two hits. Oh 
which is quite nice. Uh, looking for their veterans. Mm -hmm. Five to kill, plus one penetration, looks for fours. One dies. His mate's dead. And they'll take a pin as well. Next dice out of the bag is American, and this squad has moved up. They're going to take some shots at the squad they shot last turn. This time they have three rifles in range out of their four rifle total. Uh, and the two BARs are still in range, but not quite in half range yet, unfortunately. So looking for threes to hit, four for outside of half range, five for being half the squad behind cover. And Americans don't suffer the move and shoot penalty. So here we go, looking for fives. That six is certainly cocked. And now it's a three, but uh, still some pretty good shooting with four hits there. Uh, and now we are looking for fives to kill. Mm -hmm. Zero kills. But take another pin. The next dice is the German motorbike who's come on out and he's going to take some shots at this squad. Uh, he's looking for threes to hit four because he moves. He's inside half range and he can see most of the squads. So it's just fours. Which is not a great result. I think the four and the one are cocked. Yeah. Yeah. But already three hits is not good. And now it becomes four hits. Are looking for fives to kill as they are veterans. One chance for an exceptional. No, so one dies. Uh, we'll get rid of a rifleman and they will take a pin. Next dice is German. The uh, squad over here, the flamethrowers, want to move, so they need to pass an order test. Fanatic, no worries. The fanatics pass, so they lose one of their two pins. And now they're going to move. Uh, this German squad has executed a run order out of all the things it could have done. Um, yeah, so next dice. Having forgotten the American squad in this building, uh, the Americans have gotten the next dice and they've come out and are now about to obliterate the Germans at what I'm pretty sure, if I can get the tape measure out, is point blank range for the entire squad. No, the back row, the back row's out. But everybody else is in. All right, so let's see how this goes. All right, we got two SMGs and three rifles at point blank, so they're looking for twos, being that they're Americans, they don't care for movement penalties. Can you advance out of the building? Yes, you can. Um, yes, that one might be cocked. It is, so I'll reroll that one. Shucks. Great, so only two misses. Three. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, good thing. Hitting on okay. twos. I'll put those to the side for now, and now I'll do the two BA, uh, one BAR and two rifles, who are looking for threes to hit. So just one additional hit. Six dice looking for five to kill. Oh my. Two it's chances nice. for it's exceptional nice. plus one extra of death. No exceptional, so just three from the squad die and you take another pin. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and I'm one short from forcing you to take an order test, unfortunately. Hmm. If I'd killed four, you would have had to take an order test. The next dice out for the Germans was a was the mortar. Firing from all the way on the other side of the table, hitting this squad. Unfortunately, his round landed here at max range, and so the shot has automatically missed. Next dice. Next dice out is American, and the 57mm anti tank has gone into ambush, loading a high explosive shell. I believe, however, in real life, the 57mm didn't have high explosive shells. Hmm. Um, but hey, it's the game, so we're loaded with high explosive in ambush. Next American dice, and the chaplain has just entered the jeep. Next dice. Next dice is American, and the officer will now also enter the jeep. He doesn't want to... There he goes. And the next dice is again American, and so this time the jeep's going to move. So, 
now I need to grab a tape measure and actually move the camera. <laughs> and the Jeep with his two occupants has now moved. He had to go forward, turn, come through here, turn and end up there. But uh, yep, that's where he is now and the next dice can be drawn. Next dice out of the bag is German and the Germans are firing some Panzerfausts out of the squad in the building. Frick, keep doing that. If the uh, tape measure will stay open. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep uh, trying to grip it on the thing. Cool. Outside yeah. of half range? Outside of half. So threes to hit, fours because they're outside half. Two Panzerfausts. Two Panzerfausts. All right. Fire one at a time. Fours to hit. That's, That's cocked. cocked. Sure. Missed. Second Faust. Oh, has also dear. missed, so that's both Panzerfausts. Uh, you're going to fire the small arms that they have at the uh, Jeep. There's only two windows. There's only two windows, correct. Alright, so that's that's it. As Yeah, the Germans' Panzerfausts have missed the Jeep. And just a very quick retroactive order test that we forgot, which they've passed and removed their pin. Uh, we didn't even take the pin into account anyway. I mean, well, it wouldn't have taken into account because you would have lost the pin when you passed the order test initially. Oh, that's True. But if anything, you were kind of hoping to fail your retroactive yeah. order test to get your Panzerfausts back. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. All right. So uh, next dice German. is German. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Uh, in range. The officer team has come out and are going to open fire at the 57 millimeter anti tank gun. However, it's going to activate its ambush and fire its high explosive shell into them first. Mm -hmm. So it's less than a 45 degree arc, so we'll just do that slight movement so it's on target. I'm looking for, I believe, a 3 to hit, because I'm definitely in half range there. Half range would be 24 off the top of my head. Um, yeah. I believe it's 24. It might be 30. Uh, but in any case, we're in half range. Uh, so we're just looking for a 3, a 4, because it's a small man team. So the uh, high explosive shell fired by the 57mm anti-tank has missed and uh, the Germans are now going to pump four assault rifle shots, they'll be at long range uh, they're also going to be looking for fours mm -hmm. uh, fives because I've got this fence here I think no, no. no. okay either yeah, way I'll just pull out the uh... yeah no the fence isn't protecting me cool so two hits fence are not two hits uh, small arms against regulars, uh, but I do have gun shield, so you're looking for five skill. No, no deads, but I'll take a pin. And uh, the last American dice, the beep has moved up to here, which means one German dice left. Yep. And what is it for? Base Assault base. rifle squad. All right, let's see what they do. All right, they are advancing just along here behind the house. Is it advance or run? Run. Run a little. They're running up behind the house there. So there they are. And that will be the end of turn two. And on to turn three. Turn is starting off with the American 57mm anti-tank taking a shot back at the same Germans. He needs to pass an order test. He's going to fire an armor-piercing shell into the officer team. Because why not? Uh... What's that? Six, seven, eight. eight. Uh, he needs an eight to pass, so he has passed, thankfully. Lucky duck. He'll be looking for a four to hit because small man team. He's missed. He's missed. Unlucky! Next dice. Alright, the Americans are going to execute a charge from this squad into this squad. It's less than six inches, so it's a surprise charge, which means the Americans will be striking first. And there is no chance for the Germans to open fire. So, we have two tough fighters in the squad, which I'll roll first. And they're looking for fives to kill. I'm not going to bother moving. Uh, you know what, I should move the squad, actually. Mm. Because I may not be able to get everyone touching someone in the squad. There you go. So it's a two to one. <laughs> Unlucky. So we're looking for twos, oh sorry, fives, I mean, to kill. No kills from our two boys who are tough fighters. And now the other six will strike. Again, looking for fives here. 
Uh, we've got three, four, we've killed the whole squad. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, because it was a surprise charge, I'm striking first, which means no hitbacks. So first unit killed is the flamethrower squad, who, as much as they learnt from last game... They didn't. They, uh, they didn't, and they're dead. Uh, the Americans will consolidate one, one, one whole inch. So they're just uh, going to not so much bunch up, but just make a nice unit again. Sweet. Next ice. Next ice out of the bag is American, and the armoured jeep has pulled up uh, all the way from here with his 24-inch advance because he's on a road. And is he in point blank? No. No. No, he's not. So it will be threes to hit fours because he moved, fives because it's a small man team that he is targeting. One. With one hit, uh, looking for fives to kill, but a plus one from the 50 cal makes it a four to kill. Chance for the exceptional? No. So the officer's assistant, I take it, is going to die. Mm -hmm. And then the officer will take a pin. Uh, and he'll need to take an order test. Uh, regular, so... Uh, looking for a nine. nine. Minus one because he's got a pin, but then plus one because he's giving himself his officer bonus. He's okay. He's okay, so he'll just stay there with one pin. Next dice. Next dice is American, and the beep has rocked up here. Next pull. All right, the German squad in the building has pulled out their dice, and they're going to open fire on these lads. Blank. Point blank. Blank from all but one window. Okay, so, so the, the two... won't get the point blank. These two windows here will be shooting at point blank and the shots from the door will not be at point blank. So an SMG and an LMG at point blank, looking for twos, twos to hit. Mm -hmm. One miss. Oh gosh. Uh, do you want to just roll the rifle now as well, who's yeah. looking for a three? Miss. Missed. Okay. Uh, you're looking for sixes to glance. Two glancing hits. Two glancing hits, take them one at a time. First one. Uh, I take an additional pin. Second one. Dang. And I take an additional pin. So the Jeep will take, I believe that's going to be three pins total. Yep, three pins, and then everyone inside cops three. Yep. All right, next dice. Next dice is American. Uh, the engineers mm. are going to try and get out. They're veterans, means they look for tens, but they have three pins, means they're looking for sevens. Which they've gotten, I believe, unless that one is cocked. Oh, not. Yeah, it's not. You Brilliant. Can. Cool. So the American flamethrower team will now jump out and see what they're going to do. All right, Americans have jumped out of the beep. They now have two pins. The flamethrower is sticking his flamethrower inside that window. And uh, the guy with the LMG, he looks like he's trying to grab it, like he's trying to grab the nozzle. Uh, anyway, let's do some actual rolling <laughs> instead of just uh, being a bit stupid. Uh, so we'll do the flamethrower separately before we bother with everything else. So he is looking for a two to hit because of point blank range. Uh, however, he moved, makes it a three, and he has two pins, makes it a five. Flamethrower ignores cover. Flamethrower has missed. Does he run out of ammunition as well? No, thankfully. All right, uh, we got two submachine guns who are looking for twos, but with two pins makes it uh, fours, plus heavy cover makes it sixes. One hit from the SMGs. Uh, two BARs, and all the rifles will be in the same boat as well, so I'll just roll them all now. Uh, I lose one rifle who's loading for the flamethrower. Uh, so we are then looking for... Uh, Actually, I should have one less dice than that. I've got one too many. Uh, we're looking for sixes again here. That one might be cocked. It is. Nope, so just another hit. So two hits total, looking for uh, sixes to kill. No, but they will take a pin inside the building there. Uh, yeah, so perhaps the light machine gunner grabbing the barrel of the flamethrower works. He pushed it to the side and the flames came out this hole here. Um, yes. Next dice. 
Uh, this squad here is going to reoccupy the building, but they need to pass an order test looking for a nine. That six is caught. Which the six is caught. Uh, although, but with the three, it means I can't physically fail anyway. That's true. So no need to re-roll. So they're just going to jump in here. Can't roll a seven off one dice. Well, you shouldn't be able to roll a seven off one dice. Not with the correct kind of dice, you can't. No. Next dice. Next dice out the bag is German, and using the spotter over here, they've got a line of sight on the Jeep. Beep, boop. And so they're looking to range in. Veteran mortar. Yeah, veteran mortar. Using house our rules. house rule means it's a five to range in instead of a six. Uh, he's missed, but next turn it will be a four unless the Jeep moves. Next dice. Next dice was American, and the chaplain, being the indecisive bloke that he is, has decided to jump out. Now, chaplain's rules mean when they activate their dice, they can take pins away from nearby units, but um, nobody has any pins. So, uh, next dice. So, using the nice 45 degree arc checker from Knights of Dice, this shot here is in the 45 degree arc, so the bike is going to sit still, means you're looking for three. You're outside the point, but you're in half. Uh, they've already done something, so I can't go down. Yep. Uh, that's some very good shooting. Fives to kill. Uh, one chance for an exceptional. And that'll take a pin. <laughs> Do you want to check what? that's cocked? I don't know how what it's... Is, yeah, what is it? I think it's the I think the the mat oh. no it's not it's yeah. not I think the mat just has a little crease in it there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so an exceptional means you choose who dies in the squad. Uh, there's two Tommies. There's two BARs, or does this squad have one? This squad has one. Well, killing the NCO is a bad thing for you, isn't it? Yeah, the NCO. The NCO, I mean. Yep. Rip, my boy. NCO for red squad is dead. Next dice. All right, the next dice is German, coming to the German officer here who needs to pass his order test. Uh, pass Minus one, one plus nine. one, because he's an officer, so he's just looking for a nine. Yeah. yeah we'll Which he gets. Us. See you later. And what's he gonna do? He is going to advance to a position where he can shoot the side armor of this. Yep. Alright, let's grab our handy dandy Knights of Dice angle checker here. And do you want to grab the laser pointer? It's right here. And we'll see if that's on the side armour. So the middle of the vehicle is there. What am I, what am I measuring? Is yeah, it? you want to be outside the 45 degree arc. So it is still front armour. Yeah. So you can damage it, but with these special rules, you can't put pins on it. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're looking for two shots, looking for either threes or twos. Are you in point blank? In point blank. Cool, so you're looking for twos. Wow. You really missed one the hit. Blood, huh? Six to glance. No. And no pins, because you hit it at the front. Next dice. Okay, so the sniper team is going to do his thing. He's looking for an 8 to pass his order test, but he is actually within 12 inches of the officer, which is going to boost him to looking for a 9. And he'll fail. And he'll fail on a 10, so he goes down. Next dice. All right, the snipers are going to take some shots at the bike. They are too close to use their rifle, so they will both be using their submachine guns. Uh, so we're looking at four shots. I believe looking at fours, because we're outside of half range. No other modifiers are coming to mind. Yep, fours for half range. One. One, and then we got a six over here as well. Oh, I could not tell. So, two hits. Uh, looking for sixes to glance. One glancing hit. What have I done to the bike? Uh, just an additional pin. So, two pins for the bike. The next dice out is German, and both Fausts are going into the Jeep uh, from the assault rifle squad here. I think the Faust is just out of half range. Just out of half range. Is that yeah. both of them? Yeah. 
Yep. And then the other, all the rest of the shots will be going into the 57mm anti-tank gun. Which, um, they're all in range. None and a half. None and a half. Cool. So all out of half. Uh, let's do the Fausts first. Yep, one at a time. Sure. Looking for four fives because you moved. Uh, Three to hit, four for outside yep. half, five because you moved. Miss. First Faust missed. Miss. Second Faust also missed. Then you got two, four, six, eight, ten assault rifle shots. All heading two, four, into. Six, eight, ten, twelve, it should be. Twelve? Yeah. Have I counted wrong? Six others. Oh, yeah, I've counted wrong. My bad. <laughs> Just take this one instead of yeah. the one you dropped. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to make a bloke on crutches bend down. Uh, you're looking for threes, fours, because you're outside of half range. Mm. Yep. That is a lot of hits. Not looking good for my 57mm AT gun. Uh, looking for fours to kill, fives because of gun shield. Mm -hmm. Oh With dear, one dead. One dead. Oof, one. okay. That's, uh, one. that's worked out better for me than I expected, but... Yeah. yeah. One dead and a pin. Alright, next dice. Last two dice were both American. The Jeep has advanced over to here, and then the officers jumped out. And that's the end of turn three, moving into turn four. Americans are starting off turn four uh, with a shot from a high explosive shell on the, um, what do you call it, the 57mm anti-tank gun. So I've got to get rid of my pins first, because I have two dice. I've got one pin, I believe, is it one? Yeah. Yes, one pin. Regs, so eight Regs to looking for an eight. Which we have passed with a six. Uh, so we are now looking for... We've lost our pin, and it'll just be a three to hit. The uh, the base boys there, the assault rifle squad. We've rolled a two. My goodness. So, they missed. Next dice. All right, the American Jeep has advanced. It's 24 inches along the road, made two pivots, and is now facing directly at the German motorbike. Uh, so, I need just one more dice if you want. Oh, I've got one right in front of me, actually. So I'm looking for threes to hit, two for point blank, but then I moved. Two hits. Um, I would be penetrating on a six and glancing on a five. One penetration. Yeah. And it's destroyed. I have destroyed the German motorbike. Next dice. All right, next dice is American, and the squad over here is going to have a bit of a run, but first they need to pass their... How many pins they got there? Just the one. So we're looking for 10 minus 1 makes it 9. They're going to run. And the American squad has just run to here. So next dice. The American Jeep has just used an advance order to turn around and hide back behind this building. Next dice. The American officer, who frustratingly only has his captured Luger, has moved up and is one inch out of range of the German sniper. Next dice out is... American. American. Let's see what happens. All right, the American engineers are going to shoot. They've got two pins. Are they now within 12 inches of the officer? Let's pull out the tape measure. They are, so they will be getting the officer bonus. So they are looking for a 10 minus two makes it eight, plus one for the officer makes it a nine to pass. That two is cocked, mm. I believe. Yes. It is. So we'll re-roll that. Ooh. They still pass. Brilliant. So down to one pin. Flamethrower is going to shoot first. He is looking for a two for point blank plus one for having a pin. Means we're looking for a three. Let's go. Flamethrower hits. Does it run out of fuel? It does. So after this turn, no more flamethrower. How many hits did he get? Just three. All right. We'll... Uh, open up the flamethrower rules and go through them because uh, flaming buildings is a little bit complicated. Okay, so we've consulted the rules on, what's this page? Page 124. Um, so we're gonna resolve our shooting and then we roll to see if the flame, if the building catches on fire. So with three hits with penetration plus three, uh, you're getting no extra protection from the building, so it's just twos to kill here. 
with one chance for a critical, which I believe is cocked. Ah, yeah. oh, still got the critical anyway. So I'll kill the MG42 gunner, so that's two dead. And then I'll uh, do the rest of the shooting, so I'll just grab some dice. All right, we've picked up the dice for the rest of the squad, the two SMGs, the two BARs, and the three rifles. They will be looking for fives to hit. Uh, which is one, two, three, four hits there, I believe. And then on our four hits, it will be sixes to kill. The that one is so. cocked. Yep. Still nothing. One. All right. Oh, wait, and fours, uh, did you say or fives? Uh, sixes. Sixes. Oh, so no kills. kills. Yeah. <laughs> now we see if the building catches on fire. What I'm confused on in the rules is whether I check for each hit from the flamethrower. Um, it seems, yeah, it just seems to suggest that I just roll once, I think. Yeah, that, that makes sense to me. Yep. Four, the building catches on fire, so it is now acting like a destroyed transport. So let's flick to there in the rule book. So we've opened up the rule book now to page 116, so we've got the effects of damage on passengers, uh, which is what getting out of a destroyed building is. Uh, so we roll d6 to see how many hits the unit inside will take. Just the one. So uh, one five plus to kill. No deaths. Uh, the unit now will dismount. Uh, they suffer, they must be placed within d6 inches of the building. So roll a dice to see how far from the building. One inch, <laughs> that's uh, not worked out well for you there. Uh, and then you will go down, but you may still fail your uh, flamethrower test anyway. So we'll uh, do all that and then we'll see what happens. All right, so before we bother getting people out of the building, yeah. just roll to see if you've run off from the flamethrower. You've got three pins. I'm not counting that, that's my roll, even though cool. it's good. Three pins, you're looking for 10 or less, because you're fanatic. Yeah, you're fine, sweet. So dismount one inch from the building. <laughs> and then you will be forced to go down. And the building is now destroyed, which doesn't work out for me with my objective being to capture the buildings, and I was kind of hoping the building would not catch on fire, but uh, that's what's happened. And the Germans have now consolidated out of the destroyed building to there, maintaining their one inch gap from the Americans. Uh, he doesn't look particularly happy, those, that bloke pointing a rifle straight at him, but uh, unfortunately he's down. So next dice out is American. Uh, the American sniper has run out of the forest. Oh, you can't run out of a forest. I'm a bit silly. So I'm gonna have to change that to an advance order right now. Very illegal. Take two, the American team has advanced out of the forest and are now there. Next dice. Uh, the German assault rifle squad has entered this building, uh, denying it to the United States. Next dice. All right, uh, this American dice will be a rally order on this beep, so it needs to uh, pass an order test and then roll d6 to get rid of stuff. So it's passed and it loses three pins, which I believe was all it had. Yep. Yep. Cool. And then the other American dice will be down orders. We'll just pull them out of the dice bag now and uh, I finish... The German turn. Oh, I'll, I'll pull, pull it in order, order, just in case the down order makes a difference. Yeah. Germans come out next. The German officer has decided to come out on an advance order, and he's going to fire his assault rifle into the American officer. Six Oxy inches, five. or you're looking for threes? Um, threes. Looking for threes. Oh, look for fours because small man team. Not that it makes a difference because yeah. you're on a five and a six. Uh, looking for fives to kill. I wish I'd rolled five no, and six four again. and two, but the American officer will take a pin. Next dice. America. So a down order here on the... Uh, where's down? There it is. Down order on the chaplain. And the German sniper is now going to take a shot. He needs to take an order test. Looking for a nine. nine. Pass. Which he passes. Uh, are you within the 12 inches of your target? Yes, certainly. Better question is, am I within 6? Which I'm... No. You can move that. Just move that set of trees to see. 
just out, just out, yeah, just out, yeah. Um, so you've got one shot looking for a three, looking for a four because small man team. Either way, missed. Missed. Next dice. Last German dice is the mortar. He's trying to range in again on the jeep using our house rule. Veteran mortars range in on a five, which he has done. Okay, so two inch template. Um, yeah, two if he misses. It's your placement of the template. You can't quite get the infantry squad as well. Uh, no. Yeah, there's nowhere on that two inch template. You can get the infantry squad as well. So it's just the, uh, just the. Uh, the jeep, so five because it's top armor plus two penetration means you're looking for a three to glance and a four to pen. pen. Penetration. Oh. And one just means extra pins. Oh. Unlucky, unlucky. And then the last American dice will be a down order on these boys. So we will now put dice back in the bag and go for what's going to be our final turn because of time, turn five. Five, and the first dice out of the bag is American. The 57 millimeter anti-tank gun is going to rotate on the spot using an advance order and then pump a high explosive shell into the building. Uh, so let's see what happens. Two to hit because of point blank range, minus one because I've rotated outside my 45 degree arc means I am looking for a three to hit. He's actually hit something for once. And now I need to check what happens for firing a one inch high explosive into a building. Okay, so having quickly just checked the rules here on page 124, I'm getting D3 hits. The Germans have elected to go down. Uh, so how many hits does the 57 millimeter get? One, and then it rounds up when going down. So it's just one hit, I believe. Uh, hmm. I believe it rounds up. Let me quickly check. Otherwise I've hit nothing. There you go. So uh, rounding up right there. So uh, one hit with a penetration value of plus one means I'm looking for a four to kill a guy in the building. Chance for an exceptional, which I don't get. So one guy from the assault rifle squad has died. Not as good as what we were hoping for, but at least they're downed and can't do anything this turn. So there is very little chance of the Americans taking this building. Next dice. Next dice out the bag is the Americans who have uh, ran up to here, haven't quite made it to the building, being just short of that door that sticks out a little bit. Uh, which will mean, being as turn five is our last turn, unless this sniper team is in running range of the building, which seems unlikely, uh, this will be a German victory. Next dice. The German officer, in the interests of making the game as difficult as possible for the Americans, has headed into this building. And the American sniper team needs to be able to get in that building and win an assault against him now to be able for the Americans to win. Next dice. With the intent of probably winning the game here, the German sniper is going to try and snipe the American sniper, which he can. He's missing his assistant, so instead of the usual three to hit, it will be a four to hit for the Germans. He has missed, keeping the Americans in the game for at least another couple of dice pulls anyway. The next dice out is American and the armoured jeep is going to attempt to move. He needs to pass an order test. Uh, he's a veteran with two pins, means he needs an eight to pass. Which he's rolled. Uh, these sections are each 24 inches, oh, sorry, 12 inches long. So given that he's got his 24 inch range, that's within his 12 inches of movement. And he's now going to pump three shots into the officer inside, point blank range, because uh, that's a three inch long square. Mm -hmm. uh, point blank range, small man team, so three moved, four heavy, heavy cover, six. Yep. Six is to hit. One, One hit. hit, looking for a four to kill because of the penetration value. No kill, but the officer will take a pin. Next dice. All right, the Americans are again gonna try anything they can to kill that officer before getting the snipers in. Uh, so the American squad over here is gonna try to move. They've got one pin, the officer's within 12 inch. So they're looking for tens to pass their order test, which they get. Sweet. Uh, the Americans squad has moved here with an advance. Uh, we just checked the ranges, everything's in, but outside of half range. So threes to hit the officer, fours because we're outside of half, fives because it's a small man team, Sevens because he's in hard cover, and then any other modifiers, it's still going to say it's sevens. So I'm looking for sixes and sixes again. I'll get 
Let's nice out of the way before I roll. We got. That was unlucky. Two chances. We need to roll a six again here to hit. No dice. The American officer is getting the next dice. Uh, he needs a ten to pass his order test. Which... He will pass automatically. Yeah, he'll pass automatically with a three being the other dice. So he's moving up to here. He'll then be looking for a two to... Ah, uh, three, because small man team, to shoot the last remaining sniper. Hits. Five to kill. Nope, but the sniper takes a pin. <laughs> Unlucky. Uh, next dice out of the bag is American. And I think at this point it has to be the sniper trying to get in that building. Or it's going to be a German victory. So we just checked the distance and the American sniper team will only get to there. Meaning they cannot get into the building. Meaning a German victory. Congratulations. Germany. Two victories in a row at the Battle of the Bulge. And Antwerp itself is now under threat from Joachim Piper. Has Hitler's mad dash in 1944 actually somehow managed to work out for the Axis? Uh, disappointing loss for the Americans with a game that went so strongly for them to start with.